Hey folks, actual things century.com. So this patient is submitted. I talked about this actually a male position of this crown uh, or this implant in a uh, before, and the patient has been not very, not satisfied with uh, the restoration, primarily because we left a diastema, if you may, a gap between the crown and the the uh, this is a the implant retain, screw retain implant crown and uh, this premolar crown. Now the problem with this position, although it looks great when you place the implant, and I was assisting when we placed this, in order to get the proper relationship, uh, facial lingual, with respect to building the crown, just like on this side, so this is a, a fairly classic, uh, we've got some over a horizontal overjet and some over, for example, for ease of saying we have overlap of the maxillary teeth uh, as compared to relative to the mandibular teeth. We we're trying to develop the contours for this crown it was extremely difficult because of the position of the implant. It didn't allow for us to develop a uh, to get some overlap, horizontal overlap, so it was more of an edge to edge, cusp to cusp development. In any event here we are today. Um, we're going to remove this crown and we're going to make an FDP, a fixed dental prosthesis from the natural tooth to the implant crown. Now the literature is uh, like anything else on and off about uh, whether or not it intrudes the tooth or not. I'm just, it'll, it'll be like that for the rest of eternity controversy. In any event, that is sort of what we decide, uh, plan to do in order to fix the uh, the patient's chief complaint and feel the diastema. So what I want to talk about is what am I going to, how are we going to do that? So the, the procedural events that are going to take place is we're going to section, this is a gold crown, section this crown and then uh, utilize, probably prep the tooth a little bit, finish the preparation, remove this in, screw retain implant crown and take an impression, a final impression for both. So we're going to use, uh, because I only have open tray impression copings, if we had, so that's this with a screw, let me show you how this works. If I had a different type, which would be nice, but we don't. So we place that on there. Okay, and then we screw that down. Make sure, take a radiograph, make sure it's uh, fully seated and then we take a plastic tray and I have to relieve that. I'm going to show you that in a second what we're going to do and use a polyvinyl addition or addition silicone uh, impression. Now I wouldn't have to do an open tray. I'd, have to do, I'd be able to do a closed tray if I had an impression coping like this. However, this is for Noble Biocare and we don't have any for 3i. So, just a little bit of points about uh, implants are sexy but there's a lot of armamentarium that goes along with them. So we would place this down and I'm going to show you what I normally do. So we're going to use a plastic tray in this case and we're going to prepare the tray. So I'm going to, we already know that it's, I need to make a, an access hole through the plastic tray. So we're going to use a just a regular football burr. We're just going to open up that one channel. Okay, so I got the handpiece working. So it's just you can take a sharpie and mark out uh, your contours. I know that. seated. There we go. Okay, so that allows me access to the screw when uh, we're about to remove the, the impression. So like I said, so the way a, a closed or an open tray impression coping will just go, we're going to, how it works is once we're, I've packed cord around the crown and we're ready to take a final impression. Screw down the uh, this impression coping. You can use tape 
on the surface of, he, of the tray, a little bit of uh, masking tape or whatever, just to keep the, or even gauze, I've seen, we've used gauze, just to keep the impression material from flowing out. And additionally, use adhesive, don't forget about that. Place the tray down, and then make sure you clean this well with your finger, remove all the excess polyvinyl sloxing. So when this does set, you can undo the screw and let's see if I can do it all together. I don't think I can, I'm not that talented. That all comes out at the same time. And of course I have the Patience Max 3 cast already. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, cheers.